Hi everybody, it's Kay, and I'm here with a book review on Life is Short But Why by J. California Cooper. I'm trying to speak up for you. I've been sick for like the past week or so, and I'm still on the bend right now. But I, I was debating whether or not I was going to do this video today, but this book has been on my mind this morning, so I figured I'd go ahead and do the review for you. I absolutely love this book, and I love Jay California Cooper's writing style. She's one of those writers for me that when you get to the last period of the last sentence, of the last paragraph, of the last chapter of the book, you want to know what happened next. You know, not that you necessarily want a sequel, but you become so immersed in the lives of the characters you want to know, well, how do things end for them? You know, I, I, I just love her writing. It's complex in its simplicity. It's tragic in its beauty. I don't know how else to explain it. And her characters, the way she writes her characters, the way she, you know, adds depth to her characters and, and adds, the, adds the layers to her characters. As you read the book, you almost feel as if you're invading their privacy. You know, there aren't a lot of authors who make me feel that way, that I'm invading the character's privacy by reading the book. Anyway, Life is Short But Wide is about a select group of people in Wyland, Oklahoma. And it, uh, one thing I love about the stories is that it spans multiple generations. Ultimately, is a, it is a love story between mine and Herman. It's told from the perspective of a 91-year-old woman who has nothing to do with the story. She's a she's a bystander. She's, I guess, what you would call a nosy neighbor. She knows their business and she's telling you the whole story. And then there are certain parts she'll interject in first person and say, okay, now I need to tell you something right here about what just happened or what you're getting ready to hear. And I just, I just love the way that the story is written. It's so beautiful. And it, it's, it's tragic as well. The, I guess the overall theme of the book, the, o the overreaching lesson of the book is it doesn't matter how old you are, you can still have faith that you'll find love. You can still have faith you'll be able to follow your dreams and make all of your dreams come true. And what I love about this love story is that it's not one of those simple, you know, boy meets girl they have all of these issues and problems, but in the end, you know, they have this grand love. No, it, it's not written that way at all. There's a slow build to the story, a high construct, if you will, of the story and how she brings these characters together. And, and I almost want to say you have to exercise patience to get to the crux of the story, but you're so involved and you're so invested in the story that it doesn't matter how long it takes for the actual relationship to form and become fruitful. You just you just love the story so much. So I I loved it and I know that you will too. So if you have not already, please read Life is Short But Wide by J. California Cooper. And look her up online, find some of her other works like Family, Homemade Love, The Future Has a Past. I will say this, I had mm, I had an aunt um, who passed away several years ago, and she, she wasn't much of a reader at all. She, admit, you know, she would admit to me, I can't read well, I can't spell well. You know, she was born in the 1930s, and she had to work her whole life, and School education, reading, all of that wasn't a priority for her. So I remember we were talking about reading one day, and I said, I really want you to try to read something. And I handed her Family by J. California Cooper. And it took her a while to read it, but she read the book. And when she gave it back to me, she said, I cried. The book was so good that I cried. And, you know, it made me feel good to know that I was able to share you know, my love of reading with her as someone who, you know, didn't like to read, didn't enjoy reading, had a hard time reading, read that entire book and loved it. So 
that's one of the reasons I love Jane California Cooper. She did that for my aunt. You know, even if it was just one book, she she read it. She loved it. She loved those characters in in the story itself. Anyway, anyway, um, that is my review of Life is Short but Wise. Jane California Cooper. Look her up and read some of her works and let me know what you think about them. Until next time, everybody, keep reading.